situation. And I don't say that every time I come here. You know that's true. But uh, the ladies who are gathered with us here, and Andy Mendoza, and all of those who are here to represent the Widow's Harvest Ministries know that over the years that I have always enjoyed coming to their special functions and we have on a regular basis recognized them at this time every year. So I am bringing a proclamation and I wish to read it if I might at this time. Whereas the City of Chattanooga wishes to pay respect and honor to those distinguished women who have dedicated their time and lives to their families and the service of others and whereas through their grief and resilience, the widows of our community have taught us innumerable lessons in life, civility, and charity. And whereas Widows Harvest Ministries, a religious ministry dedicated to helping and serving our cherished widows, has truly followed the mandate listed in James chapter 1, verse 27, which states that we should visit a widow in distress. And whereas nationally, Widows Harvest Ministries has for many years served the widows of our community and nation by giving food, home repair, love, and friendship to those in need. And whereas it is only fitting that we give thanks to Widows Harvest Ministries for the tremendous void they feel in our community by their service, ingenuity, and faith. Now, therefore, I, Ron Littlefield, Mayor of the City of Chattanooga, to hereby proclaim the week of May 12th through 19th, <laughs> Widows Sing Week. In recognition of the dedication and commitment of this very special loving group of individuals, and be it further resolved that the residents of Chattanooga join with me in paying our respect to these great women of faith as we celebrate May 15, 2007, as International Widows' Day of Prayer. And I have signed this.